So trailer positioning is the act of moving trailers from one origin point to a destination point, typically either uh, over the road or via rail solutions. And for the sake of either network equipment balance, uh, you know, new build trailer delivery, someone ordering trailers and needing to get them delivered from the manufacturer, or it could be for larger, small project needs. So I would describe trailer repositioning um, as a simple example of a customer carrier XYZ has 100 trailers in Chicago. They need to get those trailers to their Atlanta terminal because they don't have enough trailers in Atlanta. They have a deficit there. Um, and essentially, we are helping them reposition that equipment in a more uh, cost-effective and efficient manner than they could do so on their own, uh, as previously mentioned, either over the road with trucking capacity or by rail uh, with intermodal carts. So the main types of trailer repositioning opportunities are really comes down to whether it's a local or regional move or if it's a longer haul repositioning move, um, whether or not it's a one-off opportunity or a large project request. Um, I think the most simple example is a customer is ordering a large purchase of new build trailers in one part of the country and they need to get that equipment delivered uh, across the country to another region where they can put that trailers, put those trailers to use. Um, another example is going to be broken down into uh, whether or not the customer allows the trailer to be loaded with Coyote customer freight or if they need that equipment to move empty straight through. So, um, you know, those are the two that we mainly offer. If it's a loadout solution, then uh, it's typically going to be cheaper, but it's going to take a little bit longer to get the trailer moved because we have to essentially match that or the carrier has to match that equipment up with freight moving in the same corridor. If it's a tow away option, the customer is allowing the trailer to be, or is asking for the trailer to be moved empty straight through. Um, it's typically gonna be more expensive, but we're gonna get the trailer delivered faster. Um, it's really just a drop and hook, pick up at the origin, and then dropping it off at the destination. I think the main benefit for a carrier to be interested and want to participate in trailer repositioning is just to add additional revenue and synergies to their network. You know, there's different reasons why it could work well or not work well, but the, the easiest example is if a carrier is deadheading, traveling empty mileage to get from one point to another, uh, why not take an empty trailer? There's not a lot of uh, pull and tear on your, on your track. You're saving, you're saving on fuel, and like I said, you're adding incremental revenue that you typically wouldn't have without having to go very far out of your way. And when you couple that with the ability or the option most times to load the trailer out with other Coyote shipment, you're essentially doubling up on your revenue. You're making money for uh, the trailer move as well as the customer freight, you know, load paying move that you're, that you're moving. And it's just an opportunity to make that or eliminate the empty miles and not really waste as much mileage or revenue. So from a customer perspective, it really depends on your needs in the specific project, I would say. You know, if you're an original equipment manufacturer and you have a large order that you need to get from one part of the country all the way over to the other and you have demands to meet from your customers, uh, oftentimes you don't have the network, uh, the carrier network to get that transported uh, in a timely fashion um, and also in a way that reduces any risk of damage or any other type of liability. So you would reach out to a partner like Coyote, where we can uh, tap into our greater carrier network, whether we are providing over the road or uh, over the rail solutions. Um, and we can really provide that scalability and assurance that we're going to meet the deadlines that you have um, and provide a all encompassing solution that allows you to meet the needs of your customer. I would say that someone like a large fleet, you know, typically, and again, these are the questions that we try and figure out up front and why it helps to have a dedicated Coyote carrier rep that can uh, look for these opportunities for you. But a perfect example for that is a large fleet might have dedicated volume and they're moving 20 loads a week from Los Angeles to Dallas. And they have a shortage of equipment in Los Angeles, but they have a deficit of equipment in Dallas. So that would be an example where th it would help for them to take our trailers in Los Angeles. They therefore help aid their equipment balance in Los Angeles. Meanwhile, when they go to deliver that equipment in Dallas, they're not adding to that uh, surplus of equipment that they have in Dallas. If someone is starting out new in the industry and maybe they don't have the capital or the interest um, to get into or to purchase their, their own network of trailers, their own fleet of trailers, 
they could essentially use the coyote equipment um, to service whatever their ad hoc or uh, dedicated needs are for their particular customers. So um, essentially running continuous round trip loops or continuous one way loops, leveraging just the equipment that coyote has available within our network. Uh, I'd say, I mean, there's a lot of carriers out there that I think are specifically interested in power only work. Um, could be because they have a lot of, uh, or because they only have their interstate authority and they can't go out of state. So they look for just those local regional uh, opportunities where they can have a driver home in their bed within the same night, not being out on the road, having to stay in a sleeper cab. Um, so we have plenty of those short or long-term project opportunities that can, uh, keep drivers busy on a Monday through Friday, regular basis, utilizing their full daily hours of service clock Monday through Friday, um, like I said, without having to go over the road. Uh, and then I would say, you know, the other one is just probably in general, overall communication. We really look for carriers that can um, provide daily, consistent, clear communication as far as what equipment that they're picking up and delivering, whether or not there's any issues with it. Uh, that's what really you know we look for when we're selecting who we're going to be using to award specific projects whether they're large or small you're ideally trying to act as a one-stop shop i think that's every 3pl's ideal scenario is that the, your customer comes to you and knows that you're able to present them with a number of different solutions number of different modes that you can transport their particular type of freight um, and that you're going to be always having their best interests in mind so both not just from a service perspective but a cost savings pr perspective as well trying to take that burden of freight management off of their hands allow them to focus on their their core business which uh, in most cases is not going to be transportation uh, that's where the 3pl should be coming in and essentially being the mastermind the experts that can provide and uh, pr provide solutions as well as consult um, and educate the customer on, you know, the best way, most efficient way to run their transportation and supply chain network. So I think key takeaways here, uh, you know, from a carrier perspective, there's really no reason to not at least explore the different type of trailer repositioning opportunities that Coyote has you know, at, at our disposal, whether or not you are looking for local or regional or long haul work. We have different types of projects, large and small, um, that can sometimes keep a driver busy for weeks or months at a time. Um, it's a great way to eliminate empty mileage from your network and add revenue to, uh, you know, routes that would otherwise just, you would just be traveling empty. And from a customer perspective, you should 100% look and at least explore and ask questions if you have upcoming projects, whether or not you are getting trailers delivered into your network or you need support with one or hundreds of trailers moving from one location to another. There are a number of different solutions and methods that Coyote can present that are cost effective, um, will save you time and take away any type of stress, making sure that we get that equipment where it needs to go, where it can be best put to use.